Okay, this video is going to be about angle relationships, and it's going to be complementary versus supplementary angles. So the complementary angles, and I'm going to write this so you can see it, complementary That's an E, angles. Okay, when you have two angles, add up to 90 degrees, okay? And they don't have to be adjacent. Don't have to be adjacent. Okay, now supplementary, I just want to make a supplementary angle. Angles are two angles whose measures add up to 180 degrees. And again, they don't have to be adjacent. And adjacent is side by side, next to each other. Okay, now we know that definition. So when we look at this, we're going to say the angle of A is a complement of B, okay? Because when you add these up, and we know that a right angle is 90 degrees, they equal 90 degrees. So A is the complement of B, and B is the complement of A, okay? And we know that a, angle of A plus angle of B equals 90 degrees. So we know if we subtract 90 minus the angle of A, it will be the angle of B. And if you take 90 minus the angle of B, it will be the angle of A. Okay? And so we're going to look at the complementary angles here. And we can see that they're not adjacent. Okay, so they're not next to each other, but here is C, and here is D. And again, this kind, it makes the right angles, so that's how you know. So when these angles are, this angle is added to this one, we know that it will add to 90 degrees. So C is the complement of D, and D is the complement of C. And again, the angle of C plus the angle of, of D equals 90 degrees. And 90 minus angle of C equals the angle of D. And, oh, excuse me. Yes, no, I'm right. 90 minus the angle of D equals the angle of C. These are complementary, okay? Now we're going to go to the supplementary. And notice these equal 90 degrees, where these equal 180 degrees. So if we look at A and we look at B, the total... If we go all the way, the total of all the angles will be 180. So A is the supplement of B, and B is the supplement of A. So the angle of A plus the angle of B equals 180 degrees. So if we take 180 minus the angle of A, it equals the angle of B. And if we take 180 minus the angle of B equals the angle of A. All right? 
Now the next one, again, these aren't adjacent. So angle C and angle D, if we were to combine them, it would be 180. So C is the complement of D and D is the complement of C. So if we were at, to add up the angles of C and the angle of D equals 180 degrees. So if we were to take 180 minus the angle of C, it would give us the angle of D. And if we took 180 minus the angle of D, we would get angle of C, okay? Now, one thing is I wanted to kind of go back so you get an idea, like the angle here looks like it's bigger than the, A is bigger than B. So chances this one might be 50 and this might be 30. So 50 degrees plus 30 degrees would give you 90. So just to give you an idea what the blend might look like, and this might be 60 and 40. This might be 110 and 70, okay? So those are the types of numbers you're gonna be looking for. Okay, I am going to pause for a minute and then I want you to use the information you just learned and see if you can do these four problems and I will be right back to give you the answers. Thank you. Okay, figure one, angle A equals 40 degrees. What is angle B? This is the information we need. So 90 degrees because we are we're doing supplementary, I mean complementary angles, the 90 degrees, is angle A equals angle B equals 90. So since we know that angle A is 40, we're just going to substitute the 40 into the angle A, subtract 40 from both sides, and we know that 50 is angle B because 50 and 40 equals 90. In figure 2, angle C is twice as big as angle D. Now, I put the angle signs in here. If you find them confusing, don't use them because you know that you're referring to angle D. Okay, so you can do it either way. So 90 equals angle D plus angle C is twice angle D, so two times angle D. So 90 equals three angle Ds. So if you take 90 divided by 3, and then you take the 3D and you divide it by 3, 30 is what angle D is. So you know it's twice the amount of angle D is C, so 2 times 30 is 60. So 60 plus 30 equals 90, and that's how you can check it. Okay, 180, now we're doing the supplementary. 180 angle A plus angle B. So we know that angle B is 120. So if we have 180 equals angle A plus 120, which is B, we're going to subtract 120 from both sides. So 60 equals angle A. All right? And this is, you got to look at the information that's given in the problem. Now the last one is 180, and D is 20%, 20 degrees more. Angle C plus angle C plus 20, because we know that this is D. So 180 equals two angle C's plus 20. So we're gonna take 20 from both sides. So 160, 80, 180 minus 20 is 160 equals, we got rid of these, so two LC. 160 divided by two is 80. Two angle C divided by two is, angle C is 80. We know that angle D is 20 degrees more, so 80 plus 20, so angle D is 100, and angle C is 80, so 180 is correct. So just to go over, complementary is 90 degrees, supplementary is 180 degrees, and one way is C comes before S, so C is 90 and S is 180, okay? Now I'm gonna put this back this way. 
And if you want to take a minute and revise, relook, however you need to do this, okay? And remember, you can just pause it and hold it there. Let me just put it here for a minute. And that way you can go back. And then I'm going to move up to the bottom. Thanks for listening.